call him and he'll answer while he's on the line. That's not unique either. You know what I mean? That's not because of it was a setup or Al and Funky contrived it. That's it's not a none of that. Al kept the professional on the show. He ate that shit from our mind and then he called his friend who happened to be on live. It was Funky Dynamic. They talked every day. You know what I mean? They're, 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 they're best friends. Him and Funky are really close. So, you know, I, I, I don't want people to, like, I'm just, I, I'm defending my friend, but I'm keeping it real too. I don't want people to get hung up on him cutting people off or him being rude or whatever. He's been like that since the beginning of the show. You know, they had back of the house internal issues that were going on and our mom made them public. And if you go back, I said this on Twitch, if you look at the past shows for like the past couple of months, they said in the comments, in the comment section, you could look at this today, Al's energy spit off, Al's energy spit off, Al's energy spit off, okay? That is all speculation, right? Claudia and, 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 and Armand on the show, I can't give you an episode, our minute markers, but over these past few months, they mentioned Al's energy and Al being down live on air, right? But again, it's all speculation. But on Thursday's show, Armand made it public. All those internal back of the house issues that happens in every company in every setting, Armand made public on Thursday. That's 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 the problem, right? I kept the professional and ate it. That's the first part. The second part of it is on Tuesday. So Star Jones, I don't know if this is public information or not, but. I feel like I saw this on YouTube. Star Jones sent Fox on cease and desist a couple of years ago, okay? To stop talking about it on the show. Claudia, Al, and Armand are employees of Fox Hole, so they can't talk about Star Jones on air because of cease and desist, right? Claudia got Lunell to throw that jab on Tuesday's show. Claudia's on the show, and Claudia's in the comment section. Claudia got her eye message on one screen. She got the comment section on the other screen. She's the moderator for the box hole chat, right? Which is a whole other conversation. She is, you could watch her on the show typing to Lunell or typing in the comment section what to say and how to say it. She threw that and she, she texted that to Lunell on her eye message on her MacBook. Lunell saw that and Lunell threw that Star Jones jab in. That was on Thursday, that was on Tuesday's show. On Wednesday's show, on air, Claudia Jordan said to Al, I put you on, I gave you this job. Shady, right? Context of that 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 part of that segment of the show, they were talking about friends who have did them them wrong, or friends who they felt did them wrong. And in that, Claudia mentioned Al. She said, I gave you this uh, opportunity, I put you on, I gave you this job. That was on Wednesday. On Thursday now, they do this roast. Our mom brings all the back of the house shit to the front of the house. I want to speak to that because, again, I, I'm an active watcher. Al's my friend. I know these people. I don't know our mom in real life. And that's it. Yeah, you understand know what I'm saying? Right. I know. I, 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 hear, what you, I hear what you're saying. Uh, for me, um, about Claudia, we, I know and you know. That Claudia is a messy ass bitch. Well, this is the longest job she's ever had. This the longest job you know she ever had. Can you say? Can you repeat that? This is the what now? This is the longest job she's ever had. And that's not being shady or anything. That's like but, but that. that's that's, just, that's factual because she was she was with the Ricky Smiley show and that shit got cut because she was dry like her pussy. She could not deliver the ratings. Is that accurate, sir? Well, you know, let's not be disrespectful. I'm, I'm not going to speak to that. I mean, <laughs> not that her pussy is dry. Okay, let's just say she got canceled. All, uh, uh, Ricky Smiley did not renew the con. The, the, the white folks over there said we no. Don't know what happened. We don't know what happened. Oh, no, no. Yes, we no, do. We ha I can give you the article of the Atlanta uh, black. I don't what, 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 Ricky don't make this about that. No, no, no. But what I'm saying, but hold on, hold on, hold on, one, sir. But what we can say is what Ricky Smiley said, this ain't got nothing to do with me because everybody was trying to throw Ricky Smiley under the bus because of Claudia. And he said, hold up. This said, I ain't, I ain't, I ain't had a final say so to get her fired when we renew her contract. They did the data. They did the research. And the research came out, bitch, she's dry. She's boring. We don't want her. And they did not renew the contract. She couldn't deliver the ratings. 
And then in that article, and I'm going to text it to you. In that article, Ricky Smiley said, I will let go my mama if it's good for business. That's on the Atlanta Black Star. You know, what are they black? You know, Atlanta Black Star. It's in the article. I've done my homework. And then she lost another job when she was trying to be a radio personality in Dallas. She had a, did you know that she had her own radio, radio show? I lived in Dallas for six, I'm still there, seven, for seven years. She had a radio show for a couple of years. It got, that shit was so boring, they couldn't even last for five years. It was boring. They said just one day they woke up, the show was gone. See, the problem is, sir, you're not lying. See, the different thing is, bitch, I hope. It's, it's, it's Claudia's birthday today, bitch. I'm going to give it to her birthday. I feel like it's her birthday today. She need to be roasted. And I don't need to do no pillow talk. Bitch, just a simple Google search. You can see all this shit about Claudia. I don't give a fuck what nobody say. Claudia Jordan is messy. And she's so motherfucking messy in everybody's business. But she can't get a husband. She can't get fuck right. And she ain't got no motherfucking babies. If she had those three things and in a successful career just to add on to it. She won't have time to be the man. You know why she got all this time? She ain't got no motherfucking body. She's still trying to fix that tied up place that she called herself trying to be a homeowner for the fifth time because all the other properties she lost from foreclosure. Listen, I, I know that Al has never talked bad about Armand or Claudia to me. Um, I've ever, <laughs> you know, and like I said to him advocating for Armand and him making a video for Armand is still on his page. I've never, so I was surprised at, like, the, like I was surprised. I was, I, I'm surprised. Um, a Claudia hit me back. She was on Twitter. I think it's still on Twitter. She said, you're Al's bestie, so you're taking up for him. I'm like, okay, I don't want to, I don't want to make this about that. Right is right and wrong is wrong. I don't care if you guys is fucking I, beating each other up behind closed doors, you know what I mean, in the meetings. I, that, that, that doesn't have anything to do with anything. That doesn't have anything to do with what we've seen on air and what we have witnessed as the audience this past week. And over time, you know what I mean, if you go ahead and just do a little research, you know, you see that there was tension. You see that there are like jabs thrown. You know, you see this whole week they piled on to Al, you know what I mean? And I, so... I can speak to that, you know, I know, and again, I know that this is her longest job. She's great at what she do to me. She keeps a job, <laughs> you know, she uh, does the reality show rotation thing pretty well. Um, <laughs> I wait, I'm laughing. She keeps, she keeps, yeah, she keeps a job, but it's a difference of having a successful a career. Yeah, yeah. Long term, successful career. She ain't on there with Vivica A. Fox on, on tour, on press, on the red carpet. Did you know how sad they had to be, sir, you know, for her being an actress on Tubi? Um, for her not getting invited by Jesse Lilette, or I'm sorry, Jesse Smollett, not getting invited to be in that movie. Vivica A. Fox got that movie. And to be crispy, to, to, to be clear, um, you know, Claudia looked better than Vivica A. Fox, in, in my personal opinion. But she got the gig, but Claudia, she too busy pillow talking with Armand Wiggins. <laughs> like, this is the shit that I want you to understand, sir. I'm on our rental side when it comes in this routine, this situation. Because when you said seduce, what do you mean by that? Did Claudia Jordan give Armand Wiggins some pussy to make him say no, this? No, no, not, 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 not that at all. You know how the gay guys like the pretty girls and the pretty girls know that the gay guys like around them and, and, and claudia is one of those pretty girls i, I mean yeah i, I could imagine that you know <laughs> let's, let's keep it real claudia has more celebrity than al armand has been pretty you know transparent and open about him wanting to get to the next level of his career you know so the the social currency on the tgif show now lies with claudia jordan I, I'm, so, right, I mean, right, right, right. Right? Uh, well, you're so you true. Know. Can I ask you a question? Um, what um, celebrity interviews that um, that Claudia set up for Armand Wiggins? I don't, I don't. I'm not that familiar with his brand, so I don't know. Did don't know have you ever, about. sir, seen a sit down interview? Armand interviewing Lunell. Uh, 
Have you ever seen that come down your timeline? I don't know. Have you ever no. seen Armand Wiggins hosting any Fox Soul, Fox Corporation, red carpet on Fox? I haven't seen that. Have you ever seen Armand Wiggins on This Nation? This Nation. Have you ever seen that? Can she put him on that? No, I, did, did Claudia put him on that? Because, you know, the friend, she got all these connections. Did she connect him to this nation? I, listen, I don't know. I'm just, no, no, I'm just it's actually, yes or no, did you see, down. I mean, reword, I'm so sorry, sir. Did you ever see that down your timeline? And you're in your phone? No. Okay. <laughs> my, my last question, since Claudia is going to be on that show on BET Plus, um, audience from around the country, um, what is that show that she's going to be on BET Plus? Um, she's Ray J, I think Saucy Santana. I don't know if Ray J is on the new season. What is that show? Um, College Hill, is that the name of the show, producers? I just want to know, uh, my last question, did Claudia, Armand Wiggins' friend, when she was seducing him, did she get him on the show to be a cast member on College Hill? Is he? I'm back to you, sir. Um, I don't I, I, I don't think so. It doesn't you, look like it. Because you didn't see it down your timeline, correct? You never, I want to ask you what you, you never saw that down your timeline. I don't mean seduced, like sexually. I understand. You're talking about, you, she, he's seduced by her bone structure, her body. She's so gorgeous and beautiful. I don't know how she gets. Seduced with, with status. Yeah, uh, seduced with um, status that she claims she has. Because, again, sir, I will say this. I know you can't say as much because you're Al Riddle's friend. You know Al. He's television. He, he know the game. I'm ignorant, and I'm going to be real. Claudia don't have that status because if she did have that motherfucking status, why have, what the status do for her? Her show got canceled on Fox Soul. She had her own show. Uh, speak out with Claudia. That shit got canceled. Queens with cocktails got canceled. Okay? The only shit holding on by a piece of thread is when she is getting involved with two gay men and she trying to act like she an innocent black woman. She's the messiest one as they come. I would rather deal with uh, Little Nas X crackhead mama to be on the show than to listen to Claudia Jordan because at least I know from a crackhead what you gonna get. Crack. Crackhead right. behavior. I'm just going to say that anything else you want to say about Al, because I would love to have Al on the show, because I got Al back. See, Al need me to ghostwrite how Claudia give. I give. I write it down. He give me a piece of that two hundred fifty thousand, hundred fifty thousand. He give me five thousand. I write him a five page. <laughs> I got so that's much material, not a though. huh? That's not a part of his personality. Oh, I'm. Oh, you're right, you right. You right. But can you tell your friend um, Al? To bring me on Fox Soul said, because he have status. They claim that he know all the presidents and executive producers. If he give me 10 minutes to come on Fox Soul to be a guest co-host, I would do it. Why not? He don't have that personality. I have it. Wiley have it. You called me. I didn't even know you existed, sir. But since it tell your best friend, if he want to wake it up, bring me. I do it. We going toe to toe. I want Claudia on there, Armand on up. Bring them both on there. Oh baby, it's a it's gonna be a show. It's gonna be a show that you've never seen in your life. I'm keeping it real. And if we coming for, I'm gonna give you a preview. We coming for Claudia Jordan and Armand Wiggins. They're going to get this work, and then we can get into the topics. Get in. Here's the thing. I, I, I don't think that Armand Wiggins should get canned. I don't think that Claudia, I don't think the talent should get canned at all. I think the producer, the people in back of the house, the people who is letting that go on, I think that, I think that Claudia is orchestrating everything and if, you know, as a talent or whatever and a person with the most status. But I work, I work in television and film. I've been in television and film for, you know, the past 20 years. Mm -hmm. The first thing I think of when I see that, what are the producers doing? That's the first thing I thought of. What are the, do they have a production team? Like, do they approve this stuff before they get on air and say this? You know, because where I work for one of the biggest production companies in the world, before anyone goes on air and say anything, you have to, a roast, for instance, a roast, that stuff is approved before it, it, it's placed on air. You can't just get on air and say what the fuck you want to say. You know what I mean? And then with comedy.
commentary, you're in a commentary space, so you probably do this, but like in commentary, it's semi-scripted, you know, they give you lead, lead-ins and uh, set ways, you know? So, you know, there's talking points that you kind of got to uh, expand on. So for them to allow that to, to, to air and for that to be approved was like wild. So production is not doing their job. No, and you know what? One of the guys that's on production, and I need somebody to make sure y'all hit the link in uh, on the radio show, y'all, uh, and y'all can request it on station here. It's that Jerome or Jerome. It's a, he's a gay man. His name is J E R M O N. He got into the beef with Nicki Minaj. He's one of the producers of Fox Soul. Me and him don't get along. He's one of the producers. And if that motherfucker's behind the scene, that's the reason why the shit fucking up. Because he be out here, and I'm gonna say this. Um, uh, I hope I'm saying his name, Jerome. Somebody spell that man's name in the chat. And it, he, his last name starts with a T. Spell his name in the chat, you guys. He's behind the scenes as a Fox Soul producer. So he. Wait, it, you it, it, that? Wait, are you on YouTube right now? No, no, no. I'm not on YouTube. I'm on my radio show. I'm speaking to people in the chat because they, they can comment on the radio station. And I'm on, uh, and I'm on oh, my uh, okay. it's, uh, on my Instagram. I'm not, on, I'm not on YouTube. I don't need to be on YouTube. Because... Right. Once I'm on the radio show and once I'm on my Instagram, it's going to reach the people. But again, to my point is this, is that Jerome Tremell Lee, whatever his name is, last name T-R-A-M-M-E-L-L. He's one of the producers and he's one of the messy people. He get all these fake followers. He follow everybody. He want to reach out to these escorts. Uh, and get mad when they re reject him because he felt like it all the time. And I, I can't, I don't have to say allegedly because he had. I don't want to, I don't want to, I don't want to hear that. Okay, you don't want to live that. But, but again, I'm sorry, sir, because you, you know, you, you, you're professional. I get it. Because, see, again, sir, see, this is why I'm glad you're here. I can't conform to that weight of television. Like, you got to be leading. I don't want to have to be leading. That's why, in my humble opinion, television is dying. I don't want to have to lead me in. Talking point. It got to be approved. Fuck the approval. If I can't be me, you can have that. Because I'm going to be miserable. I'm going to be miserable. Okay. I can't do that. Go a little bit. So let me say this. Though, too. Go ahead. They do, like, probably, they probably do, like, 300 hours a year. And they're getting paid six figures. They need to just eat that shit and make that shit work. They can't, they they, because, because Claudia, Claudia couldn't make it work on none of the shows that she's been on. See, you try, listen to this, this is all their, this, this is their primary income. Everybody on that show needs that money. Everybody in production needs the money. So this is all, this is how they're eating. All of them. They got other jobs and they got other shit going on, but let's be real. You know what I mean? This is everybody's primary. Income. That's your. That's their most. And yeah, their primary. Yeah. Can't fucking just do the job, and you know. But you can't. But the the problem I, is. But this is this. That's that's a great thing. You're trying to describe an intelligent African American to understand. You should just get up and do your job. But when you are ignorant nigga, you cannot do that. They can't receive that. <laughs> You an ignorant nigga. That's nigga shit. See how I'm talking? I'm giving the same energy. You see how you talking? You're a professional. You 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 on message. You got your talking points. I'm an ignorant nigga. But them niggas, what they did on Friday, they did ignorant nigga shit. And then they want to talk about, let's talk about Donald Trump. See, what Trump should not do. Bitch, y'all worse than Trump. At least Trump can raise money and stay on message. And know how to roast and roast and stay on message. Y'all trying to, this is the thing with Claudia, sir. And I have the receipt. Claudia, get, before she blocked me, she had tried to get mad at me criticizing because I would say, how can you criticize Trump and say all this stuff? And you're working for Fox Soul and Fox Soul, the parent is Fox Corporation, and they is homeboy teaming up with Trump. So that don't make sense. If y'all so and even to Al, brother Al, I, I don't have I get it. Y'all want to be so pro black and so all that. But y'all talk about Trump on Fox Corporation, when on, when you go to Fox News, all they do is, we don't need no more DEI. We don't need no more black folk. They even said about the mayor in Baltimore, <laughs> he's a DEI mayor. That he only got the job because he was a black man with an afro. You understand what I'm saying? So this is what I don't understand and this is why I'm glad to have you on, sir, because I can't conform to that. I'm sorry, cause the way if I bring this person, it will be ratings, gigantic ratings, and there's gonna be some lawsuits. We we know that, but 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 again, if I the people want, in my humble opinion, just like Tubi, 
It came out. And we love Tubi because it's what? Free. Uh, they just wrote, the article came out yesterday that Tubi have surpassed Netflix, Hulu, Disney, everybody. They in the league. <laughs> Why? Why? Because, wait, I, wait, hold on. Tubi is a different thing for black people than it is for everybody else. Like, Tubi got some uh, some high budget. Tubi is owned by Fox, which is owned by Disney. So Tubi oh, wait, hold on. Pause, 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 pause. Who owned Fox Soul? Uh, Fox. <laughs> and who owned Tubi? Fox, Disney. Okay. Disney owns Fox. Disney, uh, the acquisition happened last year or two years ago. Yes, I know. And what I'm saying to further my point is that how Tubi is the reason why it's number one is because it's ad supported because people want things free. I don't care what color you are, free oh, yeah. will always win. Especially when you got all the movies. I was just watching uh, Bringing Down the House and I was able to watch my favorite scene when that white woman was sitting at the dinner table. Is Master going to tell me to the yes? Like, I, I saw that on Tubi. Oh yeah, Tubi, 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 Tubi is Tubi is dope for creators and and for 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 uh, consumers. Yes, and then I was watching, I was watching the Marriage Pass, all these independent, and then I was watching um the a movie, a real big budget movie, yeah, yeah, and then a big budget. So and then I was seeing Claudia, she did a movie way back in the day with Brian and all that. She 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 was like the mistress, and that's what she was like looking good. I said if she was just that character. Man, I will tear them walls up. But now she just all messy. I'm like, go back to that Claudia when she was in. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I need to get off. KJ was in the comments on uh, on Thursday. Who was that? KJ was in the comments. Um, KJ was in the comments on Thursday. Wow. Her ex, her ex, KJ was in the comments. Oh, KJ the okay. realtor. No, KJ the realtor. Was set up. That roast was, was, that was, that was set up. That was premeditated. KJ was in the comments, and KJ was in the comments, like, saying, uh, you know, egging it on, basically, in the comments, KJ. Yeah, I know, but he he can egg it on, but he couldn't deposit that seed in her egg and egg it on for she can develop a child. <laughs> Wiley, 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 I gotta go, so. Okay, I call you, you okay, I got your number, we connect uh, offline. Thank you for, uh, no, thank you. speak my piece. No, thank you for speaking your piece, sir. All right. All right, brother. <laughs> you see how real now if I was a scared Negro I, oh let me I was still Wiley I'm still gonna be me why change because we have our rental best friend on the show and I'm gonna change no I'm going to be me. I'm going to let you talk. I'm going to put the reads. Come on. I got to be able to say what I got to say about these people. And the reason why Al Reynolds' best friend called in. Because Al told him to call Wiley. <laughs> I don't care you call in. You could be the president of the United States with that status. And I'm not getting to say Thank you, Mr. President, for coming on, Mr. President. Okay, I honor your status. Let's get to business. I'm gonna honor your status. He said he was he he, he very producer all that. Okay, let's talk about it. Al told him to call in. I don't I didn't even know this man is this. I'm thinking it was a troll. I thought it was one of the ladies that called my show and said, and she she trolls and she liked to scream on the phone. I'm like, oh man, I'm about to be trolling more. I didn't even know who he was and, and, and who, who the number was. I didn't know the number. And so I just called and I'm like, hey, I had a missed call for my show. Al told him to do it. Yeah. How would he know that I exist? If you ain't know that our mind witness uh, 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 didn't get in all you know, you don't know too much about it. You damn sure don't know about Wiley. Ain't nowhere in the world that you can slip and slab it and get this going on YouTube and type our mind witness name in the chat. And you keep watching our mind witness content and Wiley don't pop up. Thank you. You did something better that some of these people haven't been doing that I've been doing for years. You helping me in this. And you brought your best friend that's connected. 
I already know what it is. See, I ain't trying to be on television and eat that. I'm sorry, baby. I go back to a nursing home and, 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 and slave for 12 hours and to be myself than to sit here and be a slave on build millions of people watching me seeing me that I'm just being with chains on me. I can't conform to that. No, I'm sorry. Like when, when he said, well, we got to have you lead in. Like if I would have to have a producer that will have to know how to work with my personality. We would have to train, you know, work with that really would have to work that. I don't, you know, I, 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 don't, I don't know. I just can't deal with it. Like, 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 like that. And then he said, um, I don't know the producer that would do this, like the producer. But I wish somebody would hit the uh, will, uh, uh, call in on station here. Uh, 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 because that producer that that call, he's gay, and he got me blocked. He follow, he 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 have one hundred sixty seven thousand followers, and then he follow one hundred sixty thousand people. And so see, this is work, and this is why I knew I wasn't gonna get the position day one because I knew he was the Fox Soul producer. When I saw that person, uh, uh, was behind that was in his bio. He he. Every show he produced for Claudia got canceled. He the worst person over there. I can't wait to get canceled. Get, I want him to go first. Yes, I agree with Al Reynolds' best friend. That queen, he got to go. Pack his bags up because he messy. You had a great strategy roasting. But the problem was y'all y'all did too much. It was it was just like, um, let me tell you this. It was just like when the writers of WWE at the time, back in the day, they wanted um, they wanted uh, uh, the wrestlers to do real street fighting, <laughs> like to really real do real boxing, <laughs> trade fighters. So the only problem was that yeah, that was a good idea. Like oh, let's see them get real. But the problem was people was really getting injured. Knocked out, getting concussions because they're not trained. They're they, they're not trained to do that. That's out of their element. They are into stuff where it's rehearsed, where it works by different moves. It's pre uh, it's predetermined. You can't go by trying to be a UFC type of production when this is you in a predetermined type of industry. So it failed and it flopped, and they never did that idea again. This roast thing could have worked if everybody would have just played. The game, make it television friendly, okay. But when our mind wig is there, and I've said it over and over, and with Claudia, when she seduced him to do it, and the seducing is the status of what the people that she got around them. She got the status. Keyword status. Mm hmm And this, let me say this, because he off the line, because you know he professional, he he work in Hollywood, he got relationships. Her status, it don't exist. She have no status. She don't have it. Baby, what status does she have? The people, and if I have to make a choice of who I will who I will be behind and support, if I have to just look at it when it went 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 uh 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 the Claudia and all of that. Uh if I have to just make a, de a decision who I will follow and all of that with the status. And everything in this situation, fucking Aniva, all these other people, I would literally follow fucking Aniva because of his status. What? Because fucking Aniva did something that I have been trained, that I have read about in books. From the civil rights, from the Rosa Parks, Dr. King, uh, from that freedom movement and campaign, I would have followed the Funky Dineva. I would have followed the lead. When Funky Dineva said, I wanted more money, he would have came to me and said, hey, Wiley, we demand more, we working more, and I would have I stood with my brother. And I said, why don't I would have went to Foxo and said, hey. If my brother got a, if he can't get a renewal for, I don't want to come back and get a renewal. I want to get paid millions. Y'all are worth billions. I want the same thing. We're bringing a viewership. I said, I may not can get what fucking I need to get because he have more, but I damn sure should get 30%. It should be a 30, it should be at least about a 15% gap from his salary to mine. He should get the most.
Because he's a legend, he's bringing a viewership. But I should be right close to where he's getting. I would have stood with him. And he said, when he would have made an announcement and said, hey, and I went, I went back down with my team one. When they said, okay, we know we go back, I would have left too. And I would have been building my show. Because what Funky Dineva did, and I want to say this, and I hope y'all share this and share it to the world. Funky Dineva did something so great. He went live on Monday night, Tuesday night, Wednesday night, Friday night. When he first fell out with Fox O and told his grievances, he got all them people in the chat. Boom, 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 boom. But one thing that I would have loved for fucking Andiva to would have done in that instance is to continue to do that. Don't stop it. That was a great strategy every single day. Then to make it more interesting, I'm going to really make y'all have it. I'm going to bring Wiley on the show. And then I'm going to drag his ass how he talk about my friend Maddie. And then T.S. Madison going to come on the show. I just want to know who, uh, 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 who banned your albums, Wiley. And I want to know why you talk about my mama, Miss Mary. And hell, Miss Mary could come up on the line. She could roll up in that chair and come on the line. Those are blockbuster ratings. I'm not going to run from that. And then I apologize to Miss Mary. I'll be like, Miss Mary, you know, Mama Mary, I love you. I'm a Christian. You're a Christian. But Mama Mary, Miss Mary, yeah. Do you remember when you roll up at that T.S. Uh, uh, with, T with your daughter T.S. Babson when y'all went to go see uh, Monique? Uh-huh. I said, I'm in character. And then we'll talk, and we, me and Miss Mary will be the best of friends. We, we'll go to church together. She can't go with T.S. Madison. She don't go to church like that. We'll go to church together. Go to Bible study. Go to church. Go to fish fries. But fucking Aniva, it would have been incredible if he would have done that. He got lazy. Equipment was equipment failure. He was freezing. Microphones weren't connected. Production was lackluster. He got lazy because yes, for, uh, Fox Soul is paying you that money, and and and, and if you don't want to do all that work, yes, you can make the two hundred fifty thousand dollars on your own, three hundred thousand dollars a year on your own. But you got to put that motherfucking work in. That's easy to sit on. That would be easy for me. They said if I, you know what I'm saying, it would be easy for me because in this particular instance, let me tell you, having a Having the people in the chat. Okay, I can't be too ignorant. People listening. Okay. Having the people in the control room be able to give you everything to say. Not everything to say, but give me the subject and let me do my work. I will not go on there like cussing and being belligerent. The only time you would have seen me come out of character when Armand Wiggins disrespected Al on the show, I would have jumped in. And then I, I would have hold it. I'd be like, hold up before we go to commercial break. What you did, Armand Wiggins, baby girl, was wrong. It was wrong for what you did. And Claudia, while you over there laughing, you gave him this ammunition and you wrong too. I speak to your shame as a woman. I would have got and then we can go to commercial break. I would have got my big one in. I would have said it on the air. I'm not gonna wait to go to Funky Dineva platform. That ain't me. Yeah, I go there. That would be the next stop. But while I'm in front of, while I'm on television, I'm going to give you this work, this little piece right here on television. And then once we done off the air, I ain't talking to none of y'all. It ain't going to be going back and forth on Twitter, on Instagram. Nope. I'm going to wait for Monday and I'm going at it again. See what they do? Claudia and Amon, y'all too busy. Now, Al never did this to me. We doing to Vegas. Who cares y'all going to Vegas? Claudia, who cares? But now, Al like, okay, we got to use Wiley. Because Wiley the only one that is good at this. When it comes to all this beefing and roasting and really getting the gutter on YouTube, he's good with this. These other people, they ain't know how to tell this story, right? They ain't know what to say. They're confused. They like, uh, uh, I don't remember. What? What? What did you say? Who? Who was what? Who? What? 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 They don't know what to say. They don't, they don't know. They're not real versed in this situation. Baby, go back to Real Housewives. Talk about that drama. Stick with that. Stick with Kenya. But you're not real versed in this situation. You just don't. You don't know. Y'all trying to talk it at the surface. Well, is his job 
at risk if he went too far. Of course he did. One of the answers to it to most of you commentary that, that viewed it, that viewed that, y'all should have asked him, damn, why did Fox Soul play the replay? Why did Fox Soul did not have the whole entire replay play like they do every other episode? They replayed my episode when they said, can you see me? I see you. No shade. They was throwing that on me, brother Al. I, now I think Al is getting the information about the shade they've been throwing out on me on the air. He was clueless because he didn't know about Wiley. He was clueless. He didn't know. I can tell he didn't know. But Claude and Armand talked because I'm coming for them. Boom, 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 boom. I'm, I'm, I'm on their neck. So they, they did that on Fox All. Can you see me? I can see you. No shade. Okay. Let's move on. Just like when Claudia had brought, brought Flame on roll. You brought her up on there to, to fail. Now, Flame, is Claudia going to use her status to get you your own special on Netflix? Or are you still, or are your applications still in process? They still waiting. And then when you went on the breakfast, uh, uh, uh on the breakfast club, yeah, I already, I already attacked out of, no, you went on Don Lemon. I already did, it's already, I've already showed the material. We had some, uh, Netflix people producing in the building, and you know, Hollywood, you would just wait and see. <laughs> yeah, wait and see. We ain't gonna never see that on Netflix, cause it was boring and it was dry. You ain't gonna give them that type of material what you give on YouTube. You, we, are you going to do that? Um, he, she, we? No. Nah. But what about your homegirl, Claudia? Don't she got some status? Can she give you a BET comedy special? Since she on BET in college at the age of, in her 50s, she going back to college. Do you know how just, and then this is the thing, that's just so out of box. You, Claudia, you on College Hill? That's just like Shirley Caesar. Is 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 she on Zeus on baddies? You see Shirley Caesar up there arguing with Jocelyn Hernandez. Like that's just so out of place. What you doing on this show? You so desperate for a piece of a check? Well, then again. You may have to do it. No, I ain't no man. You have to do it. You got to pay off that FHA loan that you got for that piece of house that you got in Texas. <laughs> and with that hurt and with that tornado that just happened a couple of weeks ago, you already got damages. You already call it all state. Waiting to see if your claim going to go get approved. Baby, them Mexicans just put that gate up and it, it, it went from the east to the west. And you couldn't afford to get them to come back. So now you go, you, you, you on your way at Home Depot, buying the wood, the plywood, the nails, the hammers. Cause you, you ain't got no man to build that fence. Why don't you talk to our mind? Can you seduce our mind to build that fence? You in tech, you a woman, you gorgeous, you a model. You a celebrity. You are connected. Why can't you seduce the Mexicans that be in front of Home Depot to put that fence together for that house? I'm just saying. And I love you. I love to talk about you. You was watching me. You was on my show. Um, your reads are so tired and I have a BMW I have a Bentley I'm, I, I make six figures with Tubi uh, Wally I think she's just mad because you weren't asked to be on Fox so I think she's mad I think it's something mental girl it is something mental I'm tired you are provoking my voices with your messiness Stop being messy and I'll stop talking about you. If Claudia stop being messy and if our mom we just come down and pay me and cut me my check for all the work that I did to build our mom we could show up, when I help build the foundation that is still standing on, and then I'll shut up. Till then, you go get this work. 
You ain't paying me for working on that troll for free for hours and hours and hours and hours and hours on the phone listening to you talk about your dreams and admiration, your mama problems. Talk about how you have to screw in the parking lot in the, in the driveway. Are you going to tell the people when I help you get to L.A., uh, a, a gig, your first gig to do your own first pro uh, professional uh, uh, show? When it was a show that was at L.A., DJ Jesse J., uh, uh, a brother, they had a show out there. It was on YouTube at the time, and they was doing some Black Hollywood or something like that. He was on the studio. I helped him get the gig. Did you tell him that? No, you didn't. While you up there pillow talking, getting seduced by Claudia? And if you let Claudia seduce you, good God Almighty, you your seducer your seducing radar is just terrible. Throw it in the trash. Claudia, she could seduce me for me to, you know, we go in the bedroom and do adult things. But I don't want to be on the phone with Claudia Kiki. I want to actually get it in. Because she turns me on. You should have seen when she... Oh, Wiley, your reads are so dry. That was a turn on. I'm attracted to Claudia. She need this. And why KJ, the realtor, why he in there being messy? He need to be selling houses. When the last time he sold about five houses, 10, 20 houses, 100 houses, he ain't too busy doing that. He's struggling. He just doing the bidding. But you said you weren't even attracted to Claudia. Look at this. Uh, Big Texas, uh, Big, uh, Texas. he said, what's the tea with you and Al uh, uh, at Omar Wiggins? What do you, uh, what's the tea with you and Al? And then Sean said, uh, back, and this is the brother that came out, Devon, this is uh, Al Reynolds' best friend. Sean Allen said, he let Claudia get in his ear and lie to him, and now Claudia on the live trying to clean it up. Uh, this is Claudia, quote, stop lying. We know you, Al, best but you don't have to lie on me to have his back. I was not on live talking about any of this at all. Go check. Our mind is his own man. I have no power over anyone and don't want it. What a stretch. You are attempted to put this on me. I intentionally replying here on this account, on this platform, because if you block me here, I can reply there. You got to grow up. Claudia said, and what? Live was I on discussing this? It's a non-factor and we all, and we, have all been roasted. This is given delusion. No, Claudia, you are delusional. You know what you do. You gave it to him. Armand is his own man. No, he's not. That ain't no man. <laughs> you said Armand is his own man. Armand need to be in somebody's psych ward because he let a half century struggling actress to get in his head to, and he did her bidding for. What? To go against Al that have been in the business for over 20 something years? That always know how to maneuver in television? And if this check ever dry up, Al still going to eat because he got an education. He's a professor at an HBCU. He's always going to have. He's always going to eat. He's been in the industry. He's been doing this, been doing that. Our mom biggest have not done any of that. Nothing. His resume only say Fox Old. And that's going to be a short thing. When, you, when they put the date, it may be from January, uh, of, uh, March from 2024 to September to 2024. That's going to be a sad thing to put on your resume. You failed. And Claudia, she wanted to happen because she want them to fall out so Al can leave and then she can get him done. Then, she, then her mind going to leave and then she going to have her own show. That ain't going to never happen, Claudia. You got your show got canceled on Fox. Your radio show got canceled in Dallas. You got fired by Ricky Smiley. You have lost all of that. So again, stop trying to paint this narrative that you are innocent. You know why you responded to Al Reynolds' best friend? Let's be let's keep it let's 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 keep it playing. It's because you you know you did it. 
and you trying to clean it up, girl, by you love to respond because you're sensitive. That's in your nature. You're a woman, but you are sensitive, lonely woman. You don't have no man, no husband, no protector. You ain't got no daddy. You you ain't like Monique. Hey, uh, hey, daddy. What, well, mama? Go ahead, mama. Would well, you go ahead, daddy? You don't have that. If you had what Monique had, you would be making better decisions in your life. You don't have nobody having your back. So you trying to do it, do all the fighting, you fighting wrong. Just stop fighting. Sit down, repent. Pray to God that you get you a husband. Why you ain't get on the phone with our mind and y'all talk about how he can do a reading or how you can get a husband? That's what I'm saying. How you can, what, what do you need to talk when he, when he up that do ping, 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 to the, to the crystals, or how you can attach to get a good provider, protector, a hero. I'm just saying to you, ladies and gentlemen, Al Reynolds, in this case, he's winning. Now what has happened, you guys, that's listening to me on uh, Instagram, that's listening to me on Station Head, the narrative is shifting. And now it was, oh, Armand Rosa, oh, 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 he was. now because of Tasha K came out and criticized Armand and came out and said this stuff about Armand Wiggins and how he had failed. And because before that, and then Wiley created, then Tasha, and then now on today, Al Reynolds' best friend called Wiley. I called him back because he called me first, and I called him back on the show. It's the app now the narrative of chaining to the correct narrative that Claudia is the guilty one, and she used a weak-minded little boy that is a man in age. But at heart, he is a sad little boy. That with whoever rejected him as a baby, he never got over it. And he grew up to be a big boy. And yes, he got big old grown man teeth. And I mean the teeth is big. Yeah. Yet, he got big Clothes from the 1990 fashion era. Yet he got music that ain't nobody bad. We know that. <laughs> Spotify have said he only get 200 streams per month. And baby, Armand Wiggins is the 199. And when I think about listening to his song, I'm the one. <laughs> so that make it 200. My producer said, quote, Claudia Jordan also worked with Jamie Foxx on a foxhole on Sirius X XM. She only worked a short time. Jamie Foxx doesn't mention her. Exactly. She lost that. Claudia is the problem. You is the problem. You keep losing jobs. Losing jobs. Losing jobs. Lo and Hollywood, I'm talking about, you the issue. She was losing job, not because she wanted to be like Monique. I require, I demand to get paid fairly. She losing shit. Baby, she ain't got the personality. So she have to give them what the producers, if they give them crimes, if they give you low pay, you're going to take it. Because where else can Claudia go? When Queens with Cocktails was canceled. They, everybody else, they were good. Most of them women, they had other ways, especially Vivica A. Fox and Lisa Ray, they had other ways to make money. Yeah, Lisa Ray on BET, but she on family business. Claudia is on a reality show. She, she had to go back to college. But what show you need to go back to? You need to go back to The Rock. To Your Salvation. A goal to the rock that the builder rejected. You need to go back to the rock. You need to go back to the altar and get that Holy Ghost power.
You need to go back to that altar and plead to God and say, Lord, give me my mind back because you lost it. You need to ask the Lord, give you a, 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 a mind of wisdom and understand how you can maneuver in this world because you don't know how to. You are half century, single, lonely woman. And you still trying to be messy. That's a you problem. You ain't nothing what the old folks would say. You ain't nothing but a busybody. And after you get through being in everybody's business, you ain't got no man. At least Armand Wiggins can seduce that man that he got in his bedroom and tell that man to fry his chicken and get him some hot coffee. If anybody run up on you, Claudia, you ain't got nobody to give him a two-piece of the biscuit. Armand had his little man, them little, his, his little man, he used all that little strength, all that little Celsius energy drink. He had mustard, mustard in it. He, went, he, was, he was defending Armand when they was at the Zeus Network auditioning for a contract that they never got. Because Armand wanted to be Zeus. He wanted to be in that fight. He, he, he got one look audition. Seeing a man going to come up on there and all that, he lost it. He got scared. He said, oh, I don't want to do that. You ain't ready. Someone said, if this our friend, why he talking about Claudia? Uh, first of all, our friend can always talk about Claudia because he's defending his brother. He's defending the friendship. If your friend is being railroaded and set up and, and, and you, you want to and your friend getting embarrassed on his birthday you and if you are friend, you're going to defend them you're going to stand up most of y'all don't have them type of friends so <laughs> you don't know how that feel and that's why when i get on this platform we keep it real okay I got on the phone with my um, sister that calls into the Wiley show a lot. And we were talking to, uh, 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 and, 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 and she was saying on the phone, she said, Wiley, the problem that you're facing is those they're trying to gatekeep you. And I don't think that's true. I never auditioned for, to be in those rooms. But what she probably was talking about is like the gatekeeping on YouTube. That's what she probably was talking about. They trying, but it ain't working. All these gatekeepers, we still getting exclusive stories. And my status is, my status report, TGIF could have been a great show, a syndicated show. But because those African Americans, Katia and Armand, decided to show when you give certain African Americans. A piece of attention and a piece of a six-figure deal, they do not know how to act. And what they did and showed to us, they don't know how to play the game. And when TGIF get canceled, Claudia will yet again this will be her 12th job she lost. And she losing easy jobs online where she could just be at home. This ain't type of stuff where you got to go to the studio, be around a studio audience and all that. Y'all not ready. If you can't even handle a show virtually, how can you handle a show inside of a studio? How can you handle a show inside of a, with a in front of a studio audience if you can't even get along via Zoom and it's showing behind the scenes stuff y'all bringing in front of the camera 
and y'all wonder why the ratings are not where it's at. It's getting lower and lower every every quarter. Every month is nowhere near that it's supposed to be. Because again, you're not truly authentically you. Now, if this is the messy IF show, then y'all will fit that criteria. Y'all trying to give uh, y'all want y'all really want to be messy when y'all trying to get back at each other, get that get back spirit. But then when we want you all to go messy about what's the lady name producers, the one that got drunk, Tiffany Haddish, you're silent because you're fake. But then when <laughs> something going behind the scenes, you want to tell your big boom, 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 boom. But if you can't talk about and criticize your friend when they have a DUI, there is no need to roast and, and go that hard on Al. There is no need to go that hard, Claudia, seducing our mind to go against Al. When you, Claudia, this, speak the truth about Tiffany Haddish. You, Clark, none of y'all. Neither are mine. Y'all didn't go in like that. And really, 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 really be messy. But then, when stuff go behind the scenes, when when Claudia feel like she's so sensitive, now she want to just do, do something like, girl, bye. Girl, bye. Have several seats. You're boring me. In the words of Michael Jackson, you a meanie. <laughs> like the ancestor, baby, baby. Oh, no, no, no. I don't I don't like Claudia Jordan. I don't like... Now, this is me. I'm going I'm to do it in my Michael Jackson voice. I don't like Claudia Jordan. That's a meanie. <laughs> She's a meanie. If Michael Jackson was alive, he, he. Well, he, well, well, okay, okay. I can't tell that joke. If Michael Jackson was alive, he would not know a Claudia Jordan. <laughs> oh. Unless she had the Spirit Airline counter. Oh, no, he wouldn't even be on Spirit. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. No, nah, no. Nah. Uh -uh, I'm done, y'all. Talk to y'all later on oh, Instagram. We live on Station Head. Uh, if y'all want to call in, y'all come over to Station Head. Uh, I don't know if we got anybody over here from Station Head on my Instagram to go over there and tell them how Station Head is. Station Head is an app um, where you can come on and hear my radio show. And uh, we have a good old time. And I love each and every one of y'all that is here. Um, shout out to uh, my producers that are listening. Um, I also want to say shout out to uh, our rentals. Um, best friend for coming on the show we do want to thank that brother for um, coming on and giving um, dropping some some tea I want to thank that brother Sean brother Sean Allen thank you Defun Sean thank you brother for coming on the show and I know you our best friend because Claudia have confirmed it in this thread God bless you sir and on that note, Instagram, let me do my clothes. Instagram, stay here. Y'all don't go nowhere. Little black boy, you're beautiful. Little black girl, you are enough. When times get hard, always remember to put God first. Now, I did get that from my live grow grams. I put a little remix on it. I put, you know what I'm saying? And we want to thank you all so very much for that. God bless you. All right.